Right now, divers from all over the country are competing for a spot in the Olympics right here in Knoxville. The U.S. Olympic diving trials are happening now on UT's campus. 10 News reporter Chris Lucas introduces us to a diving coach at the University of Tennessee, and he shows us what it takes to jump three stories and land in the water with grace. It's a free falling jump. You're launching yourself into the air to do multiple somersaults and flips and twists and things of that nature with the, with the whole goal of landing vertical into the water as straight as possible with a small amount of a splash. UT diving coach Dave Parrington says diving feels like flying. It's exhilarating, to put it mildly. And in some cases, there's some fear involved. Parrington knows that feeling well. I, I've actually got a picture of myself when I was four years old, standing on the end of a diving board. Parrington had a successful diving career. He's been to the Olympics three times, once as an athlete and twice as a coach. And he came back with diving imprinted on him forever. You can see, probably see pretty well that my thumb is, <laughs> can move back and forth pretty easily. Now he works to support the next generation of divers. One of my Lady Vol divers, Maddie Reese, Madison Reese, um, she's going to be a senior on our team next year, and she happens to be qualified for the United States Olympic diving trials. Divers say they trust Parrington. He helped me to gain more confidence as a person as well as a, as a diver. How would you describe him as a coach, as a person? Okay, he's very positive. You could do have a bad practice, do a bad dive, and he'll always find the positive in anything. This is 32 feet high. There's no way I'm jumping. It's as if you're jumping out of a three-story building. It takes a lot of preparation to make that leap. You spend years getting everything correct so that when you do go up there, you should probably do it right. Coach says, don't let that fear get in your way of anything. And having that confidence to take that leap of faith, so to speak, and just get in the air. So it all comes down to preparation and training. Reporting from UT, I'm Chris Lucas. The coach says when it comes to diving, China is actually the most dominant country to watch and has been for a long time.